Charlie, when we look at Mother Nature, we're in big trouble. And I think we all need to live more sustainably. And one irreplaceable resource is water. And we need to be able to source it, use it and manage it more effectively. So today you're going to show me how to use a pump and use it for a rainwater harvesting system. So where do you want to start? Well, what you said about water is very accurate. Uh, if you take all the water that exists on Earth, 97% of it is salt water, 2% is ice. That means there's only 1% left for human consumption or human usage. So harvesting your rainwater is a very effective way to sustain your household. Charlie, what are the key components of a rainwater harvesting system? Well, first of all, you need something like a gutter buddy, um, which channels your water from your roof into your holding facility, which in this case will be a water tank. And then obviously the pump, you've got your water, now you need water and pressure. So then obviously your pump, your piping into your house system. It's really simple. Very simple. So it's simple, but why is the placement of your tank so important? Well, first of all, you need to put it in a position where you can actually harvest your rainwater. So under a gutter, something similar, there must be a power point. Obviously your pump needs electricity and then in close proximity to your home. Charlie, is there a specific Pascali pump that's ideal for irrigation, especially garden irrigation, using your own water? All Pascali pumps can be used for rainwater harvesting systems. I would shy away from the peripheral units um, with peripheral impellers due to the fact that their spacing in the inside is very, very close. So your chances of debris trapping your impeller is much higher. But no, there is not a specific pump. Um, once again, your pump is selected on what is required out of it. So how much water, how much uh, pressure do I need at the end of the day? Charlie, take me through the basics to install the, the pump and the tank. Installation of the pump is extremely important, uh, especially when it comes to the longevity of your pump. You'll see, first of all, we have our inlet that goes from the tank straight to the pump. A couple of important points here, you have to have a straight piece of pipe, at least five to ten times the size of the diameter of the inlet. Now, in this case, it's a 32 millimeter, so I need at least 150 to 300 millimeters of straight length of pipe. Another important factor is an isolation valve. So if for whatever reason the pump ever needs to be maintained, it can be closed. The pump can be disconnected without your tank running empty. Just a nice little tip, when your valve is in this position, it is closed off. When it is in that position, it is open. The other important factor on your inlet is size, the size diameter of your pipe. Now, if you think about going to a petrol station and getting one of their little thin dinky straws, Okay, and you put it in a glass of Coke. Three, four, five sucks and your mouth is full of Coke. But then you go to certain restaurants and you get one of those nice fat milkshake straws. Half a suck and your mouth is full of uh, Coke. Now, the same thing with a pump. It wants, when it wants the water, it must be readily available. If your pipe is too small, that water is not going to be readily available. That is probably one of the bigger and most important parts of pump installation. Now, in this case, we're running through our flow control. Now, the flow control is the brain. He tells the pump when to switch on and when to switch off, when valves are opened or valves are closed. I go through there, and then this pipe ties into my municipal line or my main line of the house. Okay, we can always put the water off at the main line so that you only run off a pump. You'll see that I've got an isolation valve here as well. Very, very important. Once again, if we need to do maintenance, we can uncouple it and move it. Charlie, we need to test it. I want to see if this thing works. Well, everything is connected, so there's nothing that says it shouldn't. So what are we going to do now? Remember, this is in its closed position. So I'm going to open this. Now, simulating an open tap in your house, you'll hear the pump starts automatically. Once I close it, it will run for another 10 to 15 seconds, and then it will automatically switch off. May I go ahead? I think we must try it. Oh, yes, now we can go run and play in the sprayers. And now I've closed it, simulating closed taps in your house. It's going to run for a good 10 to 15 seconds until the flow control senses there's no more flow going through it. And there we go, it switches off. Charlie, what happens when my tank runs out of water? You know, that's commonly referred to as dry run or dry working. It is a critical condition for your pump. Um, the water inside is also lubrication that keeps your pump cool. So when there's none of that, it's going to overheat on the inside. But the Pascali flow controls come with a dry working protection. So it protects you against any dry working. If you'd like, we can simulate it. Yeah, please. Okay, excellent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close my inlet valve to the pump, blocking my water from going to it. Remember, this is the closed position. 
Then I'm gonna open my outlet, okay? Letting the water go through my system. Mm. But at a point, I'm gonna run out of water. Let's see what the pump does. Okay, it might take a little while for it to sense. There oh. we go. Now it senses that there's no more water and it switches off automatically, therefore protecting your unit. And then if we look over here, you will see there's a set of lights. Now your failure light will come on. So it'll show you there is power, but failure. Now that is normally due to a dry run. Okay, it senses the amps in your, your power cable and based on that, it switches your pump off. So if we open the valve now again, we're gonna put water in. Let's see what it does. It senses that there's water moving through it and it switches on automatically again. Mm. You see, when you need this, you phone Charlie from Pascali. Pascali has a specially selected range of high quality water pumps designed and developed to provide simple to install water management solutions for in and around the home. The Pascali range is user friendly, carries a one year warranty, all parts are readily available and so is great service nationwide. Available at leading hardware and agricultural retail stores across South Africa. Yeah.